Her place was in a four walled room called kitchen. Broken dishes were the order of a day, and she had mastered the various scents of the dishwashing liquids she used to scrap the dirt away. In this kitchen, she was just a chef, a master of recipes, a knowledgeable spice expert, a flow scrubber, a doctor of greasy areas. It was a full-time job. She could barely stay sober. And a shallow mind went ahead and called the kitchen her place. They could not see beyond the chores that this place birthed magical happy meals that could not only satiate hunger but could raise even a generation. So, they said, her specialty is cookery. Who said documentation leaves in the same room? But you see, her place was not at home. Butling cramps and nursing period flows or wiping blood off flows. Neither was her place at home. Practicing selective hearing or being the chief in administering first aid or passing a band-aid to who needed it first, it was always a crusade. And her place was not at home to co-parent an adult whose parents could not teach real life lessons or basic mannerisms on how to coexist. This one they gave to her and they called him husband. Her place was not in the fellowship of women who taught her traditional scripture, which did not exist in universities or colleges because it was just common myths and beliefs. Her place was not of a sex symbol, a bed warmer, a stress reliever, or a horny man's entertainer. And her body was not a museum of statues for sure because everything she carried on her body were interconnected parts and inside of her they lived a heart. But they could not realize that, and they asked about her place. Her place is on top.